Hello friends, there's a brand new feature just being added to OpenTunes and I'd like to show it to you today. And as you've seen from the video title, it's called the Pre-Production Board and it'll be really useful for managing your scenes within a project. So this will be available in version 1.7, due out in April. But you can download it now from the nightly build link on the OpenTunes page. And for details of how to do that safely, stay tuned to the end of the video. And over the next few weeks, I'll also be sharing details of other new features coming soon, so do be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of when I do. So, once you've upgraded to a version with this feature in it, when you load a scene, you can show the pre-production board from the Windows menu. You'll see it just here. And this pops up as a floating window, and you can leave it floating, move it to another screen, or dock it into your room layout. So I'll dock it in here on the right hand side by dragging it over and then resize so I can see everything like this. And don't forget to lock your room after you've docked a new panel so you don't accidentally undock it and then close the window, lose the layout, that kind of thing. So the pre-production board shows all the other scenes in this project and allows you to manage them. So you can easily switch between scenes just by clicking on them over here and if you've got unsaved work it'll ask you to save it and it's worth pointing out that you can see which scene is which not only because of the scene name but also because you can see the first frame as a thumbnail image so a tip for you here is to make the first frame a clear thumbnail and maybe render each scene then from the second frame onwards so from this panel you can also add a new scene by hitting the create scene button at the top here and then you can do a number of other options from the context menu. So you can delete a scene by right clicking on it and choosing delete. You can export a scene into a new project, which is really handy for sharing a single scene with somebody else. And this function is elsewhere in the OpenTunes browser, but not many people know about that, of where to find it, how to use it. So it's really handy that it's appeared in this menu item here. You can also Duplicate scene by clicking the duplicate button just here and that's really handy to do Especially if you set up a scene as a kind of template with imported drawings added Maybe as a background or by adding a shared level or your main character levels Which would be especially useful if you're doing puppet style animation So once the scene is set up you can right click on duplicate and then you'll have a copy You can then work on as a new scene but do remember what a scene actually is in the OpenTunes world. And it's just a file containing details of the timeline. So of what drawings are exposed on it and what animation keys operate on those drawings. The drawings themselves are not part of the file. They're stored separately. So duplicating a scene, then editing a drawing that's in both scenes will affect both scenes. The same drawing really is shown in both scenes. So do keep that in mind. And there's a few, few other scene related options in here as well that I'm sure you can work out. So this is a really useful panel, collating lots of scene features in one place. And it's really handy for creating a long animation. And I always talk about making your scenes as small as possible. So now, by being able to see all of them at once, I think it'll make it easier to work with them. So do download it and give it a try. And as I said earlier, that I'd tell you how to safely download the nightly build with this feature in it. Well, just click here and I'll explain more about that. And do let me know in the comments below how you think you'd use this panel and what you think is the most useful feature about it. So I'll see you next time for another new feature in OpenTunes. And that's a guarantee.